Is there one question that you can ask to find out whether you're ready for your data science journey? That's what today's whiteboard video is going to be about. How can my firm become data-driven as the CEO of a mid-sized manufacturing firm? We were on our second Zoom call. This firm had begun its digital transformation at the onset of the pandemic. With manufacturing plants spread across the country and a customer base that was increasingly becoming digital, the organization had to go through this transformation. And the CEO was firmly leading it as a strong supporter of data and analytics. He was very excited in our conversation and he continued asking me, how can my team use machine learning to improve business outcomes? Now, this was music to my ears coming from an executive who believed in data analytics and wanted to improve the business. But at the same time, alarm bells went off in my mind. Why? I was talking to the team for the previous week and I found that they were largely on pen and paper. The organization didn't have much of its data digitized and the team was struggling with simple reports on manually created spreadsheets. And here, the CEO was aggressively pushing for predictive analytics. How do you resolve this disconnect? This is a dilemma I'm commonly faced while talking to executives. There's an interesting and an impactful framework I commonly use. On one side, you have data quality. You have dozens of analysts working on a single spreadsheet. The number of errors in the data is directly proportional to the number of bad days they've had. High data quality is where you have data lakes, data warehouses, all of it is automated and works repeatably. Analytics depth is on the other side. Low analytics depth is where you have business intelligence, MIS, dashboards, and high depth is where you have machine learning, deep learning, AI, all the buzzwords live here. Organizations start in the bottom left quadrant. It's okay, but they need to keep progressing. When they continue working with the same quality of data and don't level up in analytics, this turns into a zone of stagnation. Every organization aspires to get into this top right zone, high data quality, excellent analytics depth. That's called as a zone of nirvana because most organizations in, this, in the world are in these three zones, they're stuck here, except a few digital native companies and some leaders across industries. Most organizations do not manage to get there or are still in the process of getting there in their journey. A lot of companies start here and end up in this bottom right quadrant. They improve their data engineering quality, but do not level up in their analytics. They continue doing the same simple reporting. Imagine you have manufacturing data about the number of batches, the failures, reasons with granular historical data. But if you continue running only backward looking weekly, monthly reports, it's such a wasted potential. It's quite like swatting a fly with a cannon. That's why this is the zone of complacency. But a lot of organizations do a much more dangerous thing starting here and ending up in this quadrant where they invest in data analytical tools and they hire data scientists, but continue working with their disconnected, dirty data. That's why they end up in the zone of disbelief. So I asked the CEO, let us say your team comes up with a groundbreaking insight. Will you be comfortable making a high stakes decision? To which he thought about it for a while and he said, mm, I would be curious but not comfortable making the decision. Why do you say that? I further probed him. Then he said the magical phrase, I wouldn't trust the data to act on it. I said, there you go. This shows that you need to invest in data engineering and quality as opposed to advanced analytics. So when a hidden analytics insight fails to raise curiosity about the business, but instead raises doubts about the data, that's when it shows that you put the cart in front of the horse. So back to the example, I told the CEO to step up their investments in data governance, engineering, and quality. And this is the question you need to ask next time you're faced with a big ticket investment in data science. Will you make a high stakes decision if your algorithm stumbles upon a groundbreaking insight? Unless your answer is a resounding yes, you're not ready for advanced analytics. You'll be better off channelizing that investment to data quality and your stakeholders will be thankful for that, just as the CEO was. Hope you found the session useful. 
Which of these two zones is a bigger challenge for you? The zone of disbelief or zone of complacency? What actions have you taken to tackle this dilemma? Do share in the comments. Thank you.